Welcome back, Matt. We're here again. Glad you could join us this time. Yeah. How exciting. Today, we are going to be making the paper pulp for our paper. Hooray. Are you excited? Yeah. It's day 12. It we're having a good time. We're still here. Officially halfway through. We are. It's this halfway is... to Christmas. Wow. Have you been naughty or nice? Um, a mix. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> have I been naughty? Oh, have I been nice? Uh, mainly naughty. Mm. Yeah. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> What are we going to need today? Today? We've got the frames. We don't need those. Okay. <laughs> we don't need the frames. We do need a box. No, no, I've already got it down with it. Oh, okay. Just do it to your side there. Just there, just there. Yeah. Hey! A box! A box! And we're going to need some paper. A box that the frames will fit in? Yes. Do you want to give it a go? Look at that. We need to be able to submerge them. We need some paper. And the other thing. That we're recycling into new paper. Perfection itself. We're going to use newspaper. I almost forgot what it was called then. <laughs> we're going to use newspaper for our ones. And yeah. Okay. I hope after my. Uh, what do you call it? No. Tutorial. After my suggestion yeah. at the end of the last video, you've been collecting stuff. I hope you spent an entire evening collecting things, and if you didn't, I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> okay, well, without further ado, let's get to let it. Let us go. Okay, champignons. What colour are you going to do, Matt? Um, I want to do... I want to do light blue. I'm imagining it's going to change colour a little bit. Yeah, because some of the dye will come out of the paper. I want to do blue. Are you going to do regular news? I'm going to use this new paper. Let's make some of this. Woof! Right, how much paper are we going to need? And what, are we just ripping it up? What's the plan? Not really much. So we just need to basically make it into as small pieces as physically possible. And dispense it into a little thingy. You can use a, a paper shredder for this, of course. But we don't have one of those. Are we using a box each? Yes, I think that would be that would be the magic. Like how small? Like the small teeny, like teeny weeny. Basically, the smaller you do this, the less time it needs to soak. Okay. Right? Because the, the soaking process is going to soften all the fibres of the paper and, you know, discombobulate them, you know? Can I get a scalpel out and cut them? No. These? No? It'll make it harder. So it, it needs it'll to make be... it easier to rip them, you know? Okay. It'll make it easier for all the fibres to come apart. Righty ho Andy, what's the next step? So the next step is we are going to need to boil the kettle. Boiling the kettle. Basically what we want to do is we want to cover this, our various bits of paper, up. We want to cover them with water and basically let them sit. You basically need the water to permeate through the paper fibres and soften them up, loosen them up, ready to make this into pulp. So the kettle's boiled. The kettle is boiled. And we're just going to soak the paper until it's all flooded, yeah? Yep. Could you do it with cold water or do you need the hot water to 
help with the disintegration. The hot water definitely helps with the disintegration. It helps loosen up all the bits, basically. Yeah. Don't put your hand in there, Andy. I can see you thinking about it. <laughs> Look at that. In the time it took for one kettle to boil, uh, the dying stuff has already come off that first. Yeah, it starts, uh, starts coming out quite quickly. It's going to come out even quicker on the newsprint because it's all It's like, all ink. Ink. Look at that. How long would you suggest, or is, is, it, is it likely that this is going to take to turn into pulp? So if you just left it, it could take... Again, it kind of depends on how small you mashed it. Yeah. And like how much attention you give to giving it a good wiggle around over the course of its time. Um, however, you can also use a blender to speed that up. Okay. Um, which I would probably suggest. Yeah. It's a lot quicker. So I guess my question is, if we were to now say we were to just leave this and if we, we were, were to, to go home, just leave this, it might take it might take a couple of days. Uh, mine would probably go quicker because mine is a bit, you know, the paper's thinner. I, I definitely chopped it up. Smaller than Smaller I did. Smaller than yep. you've done. <laughs> definitely. Um, whereas yours, although it's all softening, I think your sugar paper's going to take a little bit longer to discombobulate. Probably because it's been bigger. It's probably for the best to leave yours to stand for at least 24 hours. Yeah. Let it do its Oops. thing, and then yeah. enforce some give it some, some law wedding. if needed. Yeah, a hundred percent. So it's been a couple hours. Paper softening up. It has. We're yes. just putting some more hot water in, and then Andy's going to start blending, aren't you? I am. Yes. Uh, if you don't have a food processor or a blender, uh, you can just leave it and mash it. You know, over the course of a couple of days. Yeah, just going to have to be patient. I'm just going to have to be patient. I've actually done that a little bit more than I'm just... Oh, is that, not, is that not as much as you need to do it? Well, uh, no, no, no. I was going to save some of it for the video, you know? I am filming. Oh, okay. I didn't realise. Come on, you give that a play. Not exactly rocket science, just blend it. And what are we... When, when are we blending it until? You want to blend it until, like, your pulp is, like, as even as possible. You might not be able to get it all even. I don't really know if it matters too much. You're basically making paper puree. So that's looking pretty good for mine. So is that is that the pulp is that the pulp done then? That's basically the pulp done. Now what you need to do is you fill it up a little bit higher so that you've got enough room to get your frame in. So dilute it a bit more. Yep. But you can use cold water for this. Okay. That's good because this is still pretty this volatilely is still quite hot. hot. Because I poured more hot water into it. So would you say like this amount, like double what's in here? Yeah, you want to kind of. Yeah, I'd say nine liters. Like these are nine liter yeah. boxes. Is is a good good benchmark, you know? Okay. So, we're going to say goodbye for now, because this is all pulpified and ready to go. Yep. And then tomorrow, we're going to make this all into proper paper. So thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful rest of the day, and we will see you tomorrow. Indeed we shall. Good night.